Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to do something a little bit different, something that I realised that I haven't done on this channel yet and it's a Q&A. Questions and answers. I've been chatting to one of my subscribers via email in the last couple of weeks and he's got a little list of questions that he wants me to answer so I thought a really good thing to do is make a video about it because not only will it help him, but I'm sure there are answers. There's questions there that have been asked quite a few times before, and I'm sure quite a few of you may benefit from some of the answers. So, here we go. First question. How does one develop such a strong belief in their trading that they're willing to rely on it and quit their other career? I can only really comment from experience. And I've always developed my trading so that it kind of runs as a part-time thing, whether it be trading off of end-of-day charts or, you know, 10 years ago, or now it's completely automated. So I don't have to be at the screen at all. So I haven't actually quit my other careers and concentrated on trading. But in answer to the man's question, uh, what strikes me straight away is results you know you're not going to just quit your career you quit your career your other career without a decent track record so i would say that the proof is in the pudding get yourself a decent track record and then that's going to give you the confidence and the belief in your trading that you can rely on it and quit your other career as long as your account is big enough to allow those the profits from your trading to substitute the earnings from your other career. Okay, moving on. Next question is, how does one become so confident in their trading systems that they are ready to let the EA trade it for them? I call them strategies. Some people call them EAs, I call them strategies. Um, confidence in the strategy is, for me, spend a lot of time putting a strategy together, building it, testing it, and once I'm happy with them, once they've passed all the tests and they look good, I'll then put them into incubation. That's a word I borrowed from Kevin Davey. And what that means is you've got a strategy, It's you back-tested it, you might have tested it on some out-of-sample data, and it looks really good. But before you go switch it on, start trading it live, put it in incubation. And what that means is you set it aside, you can forget it, you what you can if you're automated, if you're trading automated like I am, you can run it in a, a demo account, see how it works. But you can either you can do that or you could just forget about it and leave it three months, four months, six months, whatever you want to leave it. Come back to it sort of three months later and see how it's done in that three month period. If it's done what you expected it to do, then great, you may be ready to trade that live. So, as far as building confidence, then again, proof's in the pudding. You put it in incubation, you traded it, you've let it do its thing for three months, and if the results are there, the results are in line with the back test, then you should be confident enough to Switch it on and trade it. Next question. How does a trading system idea become an EA? Are the strategy ideas generally coming from within the trader or are they borrowed from books, websites, etc.? I would say all of them. Some of the, my best stuff I've learned from other traders, been taught by other traders. I owe a lot of my trading success to Andrea Unger, Larry Williams. Larry Connors borrowed ideas from all of those and tested them. I'm lucky enough that now I'm able to program. So I use trading software. I can trade using multi charts is what I use. So I program a strategy, test it, and see how it works. So whenever I'm reading and picking up new ideas, one of my favorite things to do is start coding them, programming them, and see how they work out. Apart from other people's ideas, yeah, your own ideas. I'm constantly thinking about trading. You know, sometimes I'm 
driving along, listening to music, but I'm thinking about trading, thinking about ideas. I've actually got a little notebook and I note down little trading ideas. So when I've set aside some time to test and develop, then I'll bring out my notebook and work on some new ideas. Most of them don't work, but some of them have proved really good. So all of the above really, websites, books, and your own ideas. Next question. Once you've developed several EAs, how do you decide which of them you prefer? How do you manage them in parallel? How much of your portfolio do you allocate to each? Well, if my strategies have passed the tests and I'm happy with them, I generally trade all of them. That being said, I wouldn't go ahead and trade five trend following strategies that work off a 60 minute chart all on euro dollar because it's far too highly correlated so I do keep that in mind obviously but with regards to how much of your portfolio do allocate to each I probably don't spend as much time on this as I should I spend most of my time developing individual strategies portfolio management is probably something I should work on a bit more However, what I used to do was I'd have strategies and I'd, had a, I'd have a stop loss on each strategy. From that stop loss, I can then work out what my risk is from my account. So typically, I might risk 1% of my account on each strategy if it hits the stop loss. I don't do that anymore. I actually use um, a figure called Optimal F, something Ralph Vince developed. It's... It's a number that allows you to trade the, the optimal amount of your portfolio on each strategy. It's a number that's derived from the strategy backtest, the trades that were made. And it can be anything from, oh, I don't actually use the full optimal F because full optimal F can be something fairly aggressive, anything from 20% up to maybe 50% of your account per strategy, which is insane. However, I do use a fraction of it, so what I'll end up is, I could end up with risking anything from maybe 0.8% through to maybe 3% of my account. So I use a fraction, so each strategy is weighted on its performance with regards to Optimal F. If you want to read more about Optimal F, just look up any of Ralph Vince's stuff. And the last question, what are your daily, weekly, monthly routines as a trader? Okay, with regards to my live trading, daily, as I've mentioned, my trading is now done all on the computer, it's all automated, it runs on a virtual private server, so it's running 24 hours a day. It's at a stage where it's very reliable now. I said I use multi-charts, I use interactive brokers for my broker and it's very reliable. So daily routines are literally dipping in, seeing, make sure there's no technical problems, just seeing what trades are being made. It's probably unnecessary. I might look at the server and maybe two, three, four times a day, not much more than that. Weekly, I generally, I may log out of the system, re-log in just to refresh things, and I typically look at position sizing over at the weekend, I'll reevaluate position sizing depending on the account value for the prior week's trading. Monthly, I do a little bit more. I look in depth at each strategy that I'm trading and make sure they're performing as I want them to perform. If they're underperforming, it might be a case to switch them off. Also, the strategies that are in incubation, the ones that I've, I'm happy with, but I'm not live trading yet, and I'm checking them. It might be that at the end of any particular month, I have strategies in incubation where I need to decide whether or not to leave them in incubation or actually switch them live. So that's what I do with my live trading. Um, with my strategy development, I don't have any fixed daily, weekly, or monthly routines. I allocate I may allocate a couple of weeks of my time to develop strategies, and then I might have weekly goals. So, you know, I want to 
work on this counter trend strategy on the Canadian dollar and I want it finished by the end of the week. That might be just one of my little goals, but development there, yeah, there's no fixed routine. And that is about the end of the list. So those five questions, I hope I've answered them and they can be of some help to not only the guy I've been chatting to, but some of the other traders out there. And if you've got any questions that you want to ask, I'll answer them in a video or email. You can email me at jared at thetransparenttrader.com or even leave a comment or message through YouTube. I'll get them all. So until the next video, thank you and goodbye.